Hey guys, welcome back to 25 Soupies. Today I'm going to be swatching the brand new Stella Chroma Fall Mattes Collection, which consists of six beautiful polishes that dry matte to begin with, and then you can top with a shiny top coat if you would like. These will be releasing on the 22nd, so let's take a look at the swatches. First up, we have an orange called a Pumpkin Everything, and I should have had the lid open first, but I didn't. And this has a gorgeous, like, green shimmer in it. I think you guys can see on camera. It is just really lovely. And one thing to note is that all of these will dry down to a matte finish, so I am going to let you guys actually watch this dry. So this applies really nice and evenly. I just had a little bit too much in my brush, so I was being extra careful. But there is one coat, and as you can see, that covers it really well. And the shimmer in this is so, like, prominent and gorgeous, and I love it. Now, I will only show you it down to its matte finish in the video, and then at the end of, like, this little clip of the swatch section, I will show you it shiny with a top coat, so you'll be able to see it both ways on the blog. But I will show it drying down to matte here so you guys can see both in the video as well. I hope that made sense. Now that I'm thinking about everything I just said, I feel like I was just mumbling, but we're gonna let this dry and see what happens. Okay, as you can tell, it is starting down, starting to get to that like satiny finish. So we are gonna go ahead and put on our second coat. It's time for this second coat now that we are down to our matte finish because that's how the easy way to tell whenever the polish is dry is that it's gone matte. So there's the second coat and you can see it really brought that shine back and it just has the most loveliest green shimmer. It totally like brings in the aspect of a pumpkin because you think of the pumpkin and like the green little swirly leaf thing at the top so I think this is super fun and I do have some nail art planned with this polish so be sure to check out the blog I think that'll go up today like with the blog post with all the swatches we'll see how big the post is <laughs> and then we'll decide but there is two coats of pumpkin everything Next up we have a yellow polish and this one is called You Blockhead which is a Charlie Brown reference and this again has a great formula and it has a lovely shimmer in it as well and this one is kind of a goldeny shimmer which I think matches with the yellow really well. So there is one coat. As you can see it is a little sheer towards the middle of my nail like you can see through the white def the like white line of my nail definitely looks more complete because it has that white underneath but two coats will do for this one and we are going to put that on right after this dries down to its matte finish. Okay we are going to go ahead and put on our second coat of you blockhead. And I know this is like a Charlie Brown reference, but whenever they say blockhead, for some reason I think of Legos. Is there anybody else that thought of that? Or am I the only one because I have brothers? <laughs> so there is two coats of you blockhead, and this is a really pretty yellow. I will be doing some art with it, so be on the lookout for that as well. Now it is time to look at the brown polish of this collection and this one is called Cinnamon and Spice and this may very well be the most beautiful brown polish that I have ever seen or used. As you can see it has a great formula and is going on dreamily. Dreamily? Is that? I probably shouldn't be allowed to speak tonight. I'm just saying weird things but it is just so pretty. It has such a gorgeous like pink shimmer in it that I'm not sure you guys can see it on camera but you will be able to see it in the swatches and it is just stunning like of course it looks great matte and all but I love it with the top coat because the sparkles really come out and as you can see right now it is down to its matte finish so we are going to put on that second coat real quick and I think you will then be able to tell like the difference that the shiny makes because the pink shimmer in this is just beautiful. There's also kind of an orangey tone 
into the shimmer but more often more often than not I see the pink and it is just beautiful I've never like said that about a brown polish I've always you know like oh this is a good nail art color base whatever but this is an actual like beautiful brown polish that I would totally wear so there is two coats of cinnamon and spice Next up we have a deep blue polish called Perseids and it is filled with like a scattered micro holo glitter and it is lovely. The blue base in this is kind of jelly-like which I think works really well with the type of glitters that are in it because it's going to create like this really neat layered look and just look really interesting and kind of like the stars in the night sky, which I do feel like was one of the inspirations for this polish. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but that is kind of relating to the name of the polish as well. So I think that is just super cool. And there is one coat. Now it is time for our second coat, which will bring us to full coverage, and it just creates a really cool depth, deep look, depth look. See, I told you guys, I can't speak today. So there is two coats, and that is so deep, and it really gave it some depth to the overall look. I absolutely love it. I think it is gorgeous. So there is two coats. Now we have a really pretty kind of a muted teal turquoisey shade called Flannel in Boots. This does also have a little scattered glitter in here. And that just makes for something a little special. So there is one coat. And the glitter in this one, I can't really tell what it is. I think it might be like a teal like a silvery teal or it could be silver and the it's appearing teal because of the color of the polish and that I'm not sure on but either way it is gorgeous and there is one coat it is now time for our second coat of flannel and a boots I think this polish is just so cozy looking like it looks like it would make a great sweater color or I guess you know flannel <laughs> There is two coats, and we have definitely reached full coverage, and this is just such a pretty color. And I love seeing a color like this in a fall collection just because it is definitely one that I would reach for in a fall collection. Now next up, and lastly, we have the Red of Collection, Red of the Collection, and this one is called a Gala, like a Gala Apple. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous red. It has a really bright purple shimmer in it that I think just makes it a little something different and gorgeous. So there is one coat. As you can see, that had a great formula. Now it is time for our second coat of Gala. And here is the look at the final two coats my audio cut out, so I had to add this in. Sorry about that. And here's your final look at all of the Stella Chroma Fall Polishes. I think it is a great collection. I love them at matte and shiny, of course. I feel like the sparkles really shine whenever they are shiny, of course. So you can check out both pictures plus some more fun stuff on the blog today because there is some nail art up using some of these polishes as well. So you're going to want to check that out. The release information and everything will, on, will be on there as well as also linked in the description box below. So you guys will be able to find out all the good information. These are releasing on the 22nd and will be available as a collection or individually if you would like that as well. And some of the proceeds from this release will be going to Girls Who Code. So again, all that information is gonna be on the blog in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Be sure to let me know which one your favorite was in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.